Hi, Steve here. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to look at an issue that has affected a lot of people, and that is a password for Windows 10 that you've forgotten and you can no longer log into your computer. Fear not, there is a way around it. A lot of people have posted things on the internet about using Utilman, using Display Switch, using SethC.exe. There's numerous ones out there. A lot even go into buying utilities and different programs that you can use. But there is an easier way using what comes with Windows natively. You can actually reset your password without any significant difficulty. So join with me today and I'll show you how to go through step by step and get your password reset so that you can once again access your computer. Wow, it can be frustrating when you come to use your computer. You go to sign in and it tells you that your password is incorrect. The reason it's incorrect could be any number of different reasons. Either you really did forget it, somebody's reset it on you, or something else has happened to your computer and you just cannot log in. With Windows 10, you did have an option to set up a password hint. You do have to remember to set that up and to type a hint that will point you in the direction of your password. If that doesn't work, you have the option to reset the password. As of Windows 10 version 1803, which hopefully you have either that version or a newer version, when you set up a password, you had an option to choose three security questions and you provided the answers for those three questions. Bear in mind on this screen that all three answers must be correct. If any one of the three is incorrect, when you click on submit, it'll tell you one or more is incorrect. Please try again. If you cannot remember the answers to your questions, you have the option to use a password reset disk instead. And again, when you created your accounts and set up a password, this is one of the options to select. So far, after dealing with this since Windows first came out, I have yet to see anybody ever use this option. It's sad, but it's just too much of a pain and to remember where that USB drive was. So that doesn't work either. All is not lost, however. You do have another option here. But at this point, you will need to be able to access somebody else's computer so you can download the Windows Update Assistant. Before we use the Windows Update Assistant, I'm going to just briefly step into some of the tips that I'm seeing on the internet right now. A lot of people are posting, shut down your computer, hit restart, and when you see the Windows logo turning around on the screen, simply turn off your computer again, repeat that three times until Windows is forced into the recovery mode. Then once in recovery mode, they say to press troubleshoot, click on advanced options, and at the command prompt, you should be able to do some of the tips that I'm gonna get into. But Windows 10 wisened up. And the new version, you cannot get into the command prompt with this method without first knowing your password. And the whole issue here is we need to reset that password. So all of those tips that you see on the internet, they don't work anymore. So just forget about them. The previous method of getting in to use the Windows 10 bypass for, a for passwords can cause significant problems, especially if you're using BitLocker. Use that method, if it was still working, you could potentially lose all your data, which is why Microsoft finally closed that hole. So having found another computer that you can use, get onto the internet, go to the Windows Update Assistant website. I'll post this down below, so please do check that out. Click on the tool. The tool is the one that you actually wanna use in this case. Once it's finished downloading, run it. On this screen, click on Accept. Here, we don't want to upgrade this PC because you're using somebody else's computer or another computer that you have. Instead, you want to create installation media. Select that option, click on Next. Use the recommended settings is usually OK. Click on Next again. And make sure, in this case, you use a USB flash drive. When you click on Next on this screen, this will allow you to create a bootable flash drive that will allow you to install, or at least start the installation of Windows 10. So make sure you have a flash drive on hand at this point. Click on Next. Insert your drive right now and refresh the list and wait for it to finish creating that drive for you. 
Once you've booted from your bootable USB drive, you will get to the following screen. I'm not gonna go into the details of how to select an alternate boot device. That can be dealt with in a different video. But at, at this screen, a lot of people post the tip that you press Shift and F10, and that brings up an elevated command prompt, which it does. However, if you have BitLocker turned on, it doesn't work properly. So what you need to do instead is click on Next on the screen, click on Repair Your Computer, and wait for this to come up. Click on Troubleshoot, Command Prompt, and at this point, you need to find out what drive your operating system is installed on. The quickest, easiest solution is just to start with drive C and work your way up. Just type dir c colon backslash users. If you see your name in the list, as I do here, you know you've selected the right drive. So change to your C drive. Go into the Windows slash System32 folder. The file that we're going to deal with is called sethc.exe. We want to rename that, rename sethc.exe to sethc.old. Then we want to copy command.exe to sethc.exe. This point, exit out. Right away, what you want to do as soon as your Windows boots up, and you need to do this right away, is click on your power button and click on hold down your shift key while you press on restart. You get back to this screen, and this time what we need to do is we need to get into safe mode. So click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and startup settings. Click on restart. When you get to the startup settings screen, press 4 to enable safe mode. At this screen, this is where this, the renamed sethc.exe comes into effect. Press your shift key four times in rapid succession, and you should get to this. Oops, I pressed it too many times there. You'll get to the command prompt at this point. There is a command to create a new user if you want to create a new admin user or if you've got a, you signed in with a Microsoft account, you can go net use, you can type in net user, the name of the user you want to call it, forward slash add, and that'll create a new user. If you want to change the password of an existing user, you can either choose net user and then the name of the account that you want to change, in this case, Steve space, and then your new password. In this case, I'm just choosing password as the password. So we can see that it created or it changed the password successfully. There is another option that a lot of people use on this screen, which works just fine as well. Type control user passwords two, passwords two. And it brings up this screen. As you can see, we did create a new user called me, but we also have this option right now to reset a password right here. Reset your password, but don't get out of safe mode just yet, because remember, we renamed that Seth C command. Close down this screen. Now that you've typed your password, so in this case, we set the password to password. I typed in the word password. As you can see, no problem. We're back into Windows. Once you're in Windows, click on Start, type CMD to bring up a command prompt, but right-click on it and run as administrator. In the previous step, we had renamed sethc to sethc.old. So now we need to take that file and put it onto the root of our drive or any other folder if you so choose. So C colon backslash Windows backslash System32 backslash sethc.old to C colon backslash sethc.ex. E. So now that we have that on our C drive, we'll change into the C drive directory by typing cd backslash. And here's where the, another command comes into play called robocopy. This overcomes the problems that we have with Windows resource protection. So the command to type is robocopy space 
c colon backslash, oh, just c colon space, c colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backs space seth c dot exe forward slash b. Now, as you can see from this screen, the file copied over perfectly. And to test that, all we have to do is press shift four times. And we can see that sticky keys are back again. Close down all the windows, reboot your computer, and there you go. Password has been reset, all files put back into place where they should be, and your system is good to go. Just restart and log back in as normal. Well, now that we've gone through everything step by step, hopefully to you it's going to be easier to reset your password without outlaying a huge amount of cash on either programs or technicians to come in and do the job for you. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. And if you can, and you'll be doing us a huge favor if you do, please hit the subscribe button. Any comments, leave it down below. I'll be happy to have a look at it, see what I can do better, what you would like to see next, or how I can improve on my videos. Thanks for joining and have a fantastic day.